When I've worked on projects and collaborations, you know, I find a lot of times I have to, you know, try to articulate this just kind of difficult way of seeing difficult projects. And I see, you know, my colleagues and even myself trying to give them form. And it's then where sometimes you just take a deep breath, you know, and think about it. form only mattering with time and also by chance, which is really scary, you know, a lot of times just like, oh, chance? No, you know, it's got to be, you know, because and because right clients don't want to take chances, right? It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I have to say, this is something that I found, you know, with the High Line, our team had trouble articulating, you know, that that it was okay, you know, that, that you know, that that landscape would continue to exist by chance, you know, um, and to relinquish to that. Um, and that's what's most important uh, about chance you know, over time, and it has duration, you know, is that time element, and um, which has to do, you know, with the length we know of the High Line. And, and also, you know, again, I'm thinking about, you know, Hardberger Park, which I haven't, you know, talked about very much, so the collaboration with Steve Stimson and a host of local consultants. You know, it was there that that landscape was, you know, I mean, like the High Line, that landscape was uncontrollable in a lot of ways. And we talked to everybody about it and worked, you know, because we had great wildlife biologists. So, I, I, you know, it's like, oh, not to self right now even, that scientists are great to, you know, how they speak to that, you know, they're, they're able to. And also people trust scientists for whatever reason. And uh, um, yeah, they were, they were so um, helpful in, because they're, they're dealing with chance and process and time so much, you know, and we'd say, okay. But then we were also showing, getting back to an action plan, we were also showing about how that, that chance was rubbing up against a landscape, a framework that was operating at a different speed. You know, so again, I go back to Smithson, um, talking about different speeds. God, as I think about that, I love that. <laughs> just, you know, that you can, you, you can, you know, I just always talk about like, how can you, you know, how do you speed up, you know, uh, succession? How do you slow it down? You know, but it's also talking about the uh, experience of folks, you know, of, and, and I think a lot of times when, you know, colleagues and myself are, are designing a landscape, there's kind of like a, a neutrality that happens, you know, that you're going to assume that people are exper experiencing that landscape at, at kind of the same, you know, speed now in time so so the idea of, of you know I think getting more of a dialectic going or a, a you know a rub uh, going um, so you know they folks you know I'm thinking about a path through different parts of you know of Hardburger Park that they can really see and appreciate you know this chance you know um, and in actually kind of a safe way um, and, you know, they don't go there. I mean, I love landscapes now where, you know, we've calculated, we calculated that in that landscape, like, people could occupy 25% of it. That's it, you know. And the community loved that, you know, because they were like, we're giving the rest to the critters, you know. Um, the Parks Department liked it too because they only had to maintain 25% of it. Well, you know, they had to you know, pay attention to the other. But um, I don't know. I think um, 
Yeah, this chance thing is good. 